You know that feeling when you start researching a project and suddenly you're stuck doing the same repetitive tasks over and over again? Searching pages, clicking filters, copying information, it adds up fast. That's exactly where Browser Act comes in, your AI-powered web automation and data extraction assistant. It can browse websites for you, collect information, interact with pages, run step-by-step -step actions, and automate tasks that normally take hours, all without writing a single line of code. You can build your own agents, create custom workflows, or use ready-made templates to automate almost anything online. Whether you're gathering product data, researching content, or setting up multi-step processes, Browser Act handles it smoothly and efficiently. AI tools are evolving fast, and now you can use that power to simplify your everyday work on the web. So now, without further ado, let's get started and see how Browser Act can transform the way you automate tasks and collect data online. So guys, this is Browser Act's official website. Just open the first link down below in the description box of this video and it will bring you right here. Browser Act is an AI web scraper and automation tool that can do these boring tasks for you. You tell it what you want and it follows the steps to get the data. No coding needed. This means that as soon as you arrive on the site, you're using a tool designed to handle repetitive online tasks for you. Instead of clicking through pages or copying information by hand, you simply describe what you want in plain English. The AI understands your request, breaks it into steps, and automatically goes through the website to collect the information you need. After signing up, you'll see a dashboard like this. Here we have three main options, Workflow Builder, Quick Agent, and Integrations. You also have access to many pre-built templates that you can explore and use directly. Before we dive into those, let's start from scratch. Click the Create option. Here you'll see two choices, AI Workflow and Agent. Workflow Builder is for creating multi-step processes and automations. Quick Agent is the simplest option. You give one clear instruction and it does the work instantly. So let's go ahead and create a new agent. Here we need to give it a name and I'm going with Amazon Insights Scraper. This agent's job is to collect insights and useful information from Amazon, such as product details, prices, categories, and search results. You can also add a description for your agent, which is optional. I'm adding a simple description, but you can skip it if you prefer. Now let's hit create. In the next step, we need to build and configure our agent's logic by giving it instructions and choosing which tools it will use. For the instructions, I'll type, you are an autonomous Amazon product search agent. Your task is to understand the user's request, including keywords, filters, price limits, and categories. Here, type slash to attach the browser control tool. It will use this tool to open Amazon and perform a search using the user's keywords. That's it. Now on the right panel, we have different tools that will help our agent execute its tasks. Since Amazon's website does not require login for basic browsing, we can disable the login tool. At the top, we have the option to configure the intelligence model as well. You can choose between the fast model or the intelligent model. For the execution style, I leave it set to balanced. You also have access to the agent settings where you can adjust elements like the maximum run steps, maximum actions per step, and more. Now that everything looks good, I go ahead and publish our agent as a new version. Great, now we are on the run page and our agent is ready to receive its first task. Inside the input box, I'm going to search Amazon for smartwatches compatible with Android, priced below $150. I need the name, brand, price, rating, and review count. That's it. Now I hit the send button and as you can see, our agent immediately gets to work and starts by initializing the task. So as step one, it writes a step-by-step -step plan outlining the entire search and extraction process. Then it navigates to amazon.com to begin the product search. In step two, it inputs the search query smartwatch Android into the search bar and clicks the search button to start looking for relevant products. In step three, it clicks on the smartwatch Android suggestion to trigger the search and move to the results page. In step four, it applies the Android devices compatibility filter and then applies the three price filters to limit the results to smartwatches under 
In step 5, it extracts structured data for all visible smartwatches, including the name, brand, price, rating, and review count, and saves everything to results.json. It then updates to do.md to reflect the items it has collected. In step 6, it writes the full batch of 23 smartwatch entries into the results.json file using the required structure, and then updates the todo.md file to mark that all 23 items have been successfully collected. In step 7, it reads results.json to verify that the data is complete and correctly formatted before delivering anything back to the user. And in the final step, it finalizes the task by sending the results.json file along with a clear summary of the collected information. And just like that, the process is done. The agent handled everything automatically, searched Amazon, applied the right filters, gathered the product details, checked the data, and delivered the final results without us having to do any manual work. Now, if I navigate to the output section, you'll see that I can view and even download the results.json file. It contains all the details we were looking for, the product name, brand, price, rating, and review count. You can also ask your agent to provide the results in a CSV file, which is often cleaner and easier to read. Overall, the result was great and our agent did a solid job. But keep in mind, even though the agent feels powerful, it works best for simple scraping tasks. If you want more accuracy and more control, it's recommended to use the workflow option instead. With workflows, you can build a custom automation from scratch, or you can start with one of the ready-to-use templates available in the template marketplace. These templates can save you time and help you build more reliable and precise automations. Here, let me search for YouTube templates. Okay, I'll go with the first result, which is designed for extracting video search results from YouTube. Let's say you want detailed information about the top 20 videos covering a specific topic, like AI web design tools. With just a single click, this agent will visit the URL you provide and collect all the important data from the top videos related to that topic. So let's select Create from Template. In the next step, we can preview the structure of this template. In this case, there are only two input parameters, the target URL and the data limit. After that, the workflow will automatically handle any login process if the website requires it. Then it launches a browser with the proper settings, navigates to the target URL, visits the page, scrolls through it to load more content, extracts information such as the video title, link, views, and more, and finally outputs everything into a CSV file. You can also change the file format if you prefer something different. So to test it out, we simply publish the workflow. So now let's give it a task. First, I go to YouTube and search for AI web design tools. Great. Now, to collect data about the top 20 results on this page, all I need to do is copy the page's URL and head back to my workflow. I paste the URL here and hit the Start button. As you can see, the browser opens YouTube, the page loads, and the agent begins breaking the page into sections and running the necessary steps to complete the task. And after just a few seconds, the workflow finishes. Now we can review the output. Here you'll see the extracted details for each of the 20 videos, including the video title, link, views, upload time, channel name, channel link, description, cover image, and the video's duration. This entire scraping process was completed in just a few minutes fully automated and without any manual effort. In contrast, building a YouTube scraper from scratch would require significantly more time. You'd need to write code, handle YouTube's dynamic loading, manage scrolling behavior, parse page elements, and troubleshoot inevitable issues along the way. With this workflow, all of that complexity is eliminated, allowing you to gather clean, structured data almost instantly. Also for developers, there is an integrations and API section. For integration platforms, you have two options. You can connect your agents and workflows to make.com or to N8N. For API solutions, you can link your Browser Act workflows to any app or service through the Browser Act API. Full documentation is available so you can set everything up exactly the way you need. There's also an activity log section, which provides a detailed record of all your executed tasks. It shows exactly when each task was triggered and whether it succeeded or encountered any issues. This makes it easy to monitor your automations, audit past activity, and quickly identify anything that needs attention. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. You learned how to work with Browser Act from start to finish. We created a custom agent, 
configured its tools and logic, tested it with a real Amazon search, and watched it gather structured data automatically. Overall, you now have a clear understanding of how Browser Act can save time, simplify web automation, and make tasks that would normally take hours happen in just a few minutes without writing a single line of code. Whether you're collecting product information, researching topics, or building automated workflows for your projects, this platform gives you the tools to do it quickly and efficiently. So go ahead and open the first link in the description and take some time to explore everything Browser Act has to offer. The more you experiment, the more you'll discover how AI can streamline and elevate your web-based tasks. If this tutorial was helpful, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back soon with another valuable tutorial.